This is Coach Howard Moore from UIC Basketball. Just wanted to say thank you to our loyal fans, season ticket holders, sponsors, and donors. Just want to give you a little preview of our season going into the 2012-13 basketball season for the UIC Flames basketball program. Thank you for your support. Go Flames! Well, you know, with a new team, uh, a lot of young faces, not a lot of new faces, uh, to have the summer to work guys out was extremely vital for us as coaches to really implement the system, to make sure that everyone understands our philosophy, our principles, and, and also, importantly, our terminology, how we go about doing things, um, you know, our style and approach to things as a program, and I think it really benefited us uh, from every guy, from every coach, uh, managers, everyone included in our program, putting us in a position to really hit the ground running going into this 2012-13 season. Well, you know, the four starters along with the other returning guys, you know, it just, even from back in the spring, we had an opportunity to get those guys on the court uh, to really work on and, uh, and, and, and to develop their skill level. Uh, to improve upon those, that skill level and to make sure that they're more efficient going into this school year. Um, you know, Danny Barnes and, and Gary Talton are two returning guards. Uh, they're, they're really more assertive at this point in time, uh, really looking to be vital parts of our uh, offense as well as uh, really spearheading our defense and making sure that we're off to the right start that way. And then uh, Mark uh, Brown being a returning starter, but also a sophomore, a freshman that had an opportunity to get on the court quite a bit as a freshman. Uh, we're looking for big things from him and obviously big improvements as well. Um, Will Simonton uh, is another young man that, that, was a soft, that was a freshman last year who didn't get as much time as Mark, but uh, obviously someone we're going to look to to have a bigger role. Uh, but another returning starter in Hayden Humes, uh, we're looking for him to be a lot more aggressive, especially on the offensive end, uh, to really kind of take off from where he was at the end of the season, where he was really looking for a shot, uh, getting in double figures, and we're going to look for him to be a key to our uh, offensive attack, as well as rebounding and defense on the other end of the floor. So we're really excited about those guys, and also Amon Fells another returning player who we see a lot of promise, who's going to be a sophomore, and a young man that we feel can uh, really help us uh, turn the corner here this year. Yeah, you know, just to be able to get to a guy like Joey, who we competed against last year, uh, was, was huge. Uh, once, you know, the unfortunate situation with his dad being let go at Eastern, uh, but that also opened up a door for us to get involved with him right away. And with us playing them late in the season, uh, there was some familiarity there and allowed us to uh, hit the ground running with him. And once we got him on campus and kind of share with him the vision of our program and the direction we're going in, uh, it was a pretty easy sell to get him on board. Um, and then getting Josh Criddle, uh, another guy who's going to be eligible right away, uh, is, is a really big thing for our whole program. Uh, with our young post players still in the developmental stages of their career, to have someone like Josh to come in with the experience he has, um, the knowledge of the game, uh, being an older player, and being able to come in and take some of that pressure off those guys to have to get a lot of things done at an early stage uh, is really uh, key for our program uh, in a lot of different facets. So we're really excited about Josh. The fact that he already has a degree is really big and now he's earning uh, his master's degree while he's here and um, just helping us get this program uh, to the top of the Horizon League, which is always our goal and to compete for a championship. Yeah, you know, uh, we, we were really excited about this second class, and this is it's funny, you know, we're going to our third year, and this is only our second recruiting class, uh, but we're really excited about this group. Uh, we had to bring in a lot of size, and that's one thing with losing Darren and Paris and Dorian from last season, we had to go get some bodies that were big, that were uh, more college ready right away, and uh, guys who are going to be in our program for four years plus. So we're really excited about Matt Gorski, uh, seven-footer, 
from Chesterfield, Virginia, and then Jake Wiegand, a 6'8 forward, who's really good at uh, stepping out, playing on the perimeter, but also pretty quick and athletic on the inside and strong as well. Uh, they both are not typical freshmen uh, body-wise. They have frames like they've been in college for a few years already. So we're really excited about what they bring to the table. Uh, they just need to get the experience and get the reps. Uh, uh, we were able to stay with our plans of staying local and we're able to get Gabe Schneider, young man from Whitney Young High School and here in Chicago Public Schools. And uh, Gabe is a young guard that has a very big upside. You know, he's quick, he's, he's athletic, he can really shoot the ball from the perimeter. We're just trying to make sure that we work on the rest of his skill set, making him a better ball handler, getting him stronger. He's got the, uh, he's got the ability and the potential to be a very good defender uh, at either guard position. So we're going to really keep working on him to uh, continue to develop and grow as a player and he's again his future is very bright um, and then we were also able to bring in some nice quality walk-ons uh, Gijo Sangolo a young man from Madison Wisconsin uh, Madison Memorial High School which has had a lot of success and uh, quite a bit of um, some some guys go on to the division one level and uh, and I think Gijo is going to be a nice addition to our program and as he continues to grow and get better, it also helps our players in practice and makes them uh, compete at a high level. And then Austin Angel, a young man from New Trier High School, uh, who, you know, a guy that I've known since he was a uh, freshman when he was at Rockford uh, uh, Boylan High School. Uh, and, and also uh, his family is a very good family. Uh, they're excited about him having the ability to stay here in the Chicagoland area to compete in a Division I program and help us get this program where it needs to be. So uh, really excited about this, these, these, these freshmen. Uh, they're very quality uh, students as well as quality people. So it's a great addition to our program, and I know they're going to have a lot of success in playing uh, Jay uniforms. Parker, a young, young man who is a transfer but also a local player. Uh, he was a young man that we knew coming out of high school, but he had some injuries his senior year, so he made a very wise decision and went to Highland Community College, not because he didn't qualify, but because he wanted to show that he was in good shape and, and kind of display his skill set uh, at the college level. And so he did the two-year thing for a year, and now he'll have three years of eligibility with us. So uh, Jay is a, is a tremendous uh, asset to our program. Uh, he's a very strong, heady point guard who can uh, shoot and, and have create offense for himself and can uh, get other people involved and make other players better around him. So uh, all great additions to the program, and we're really excited about these young men.